everybody and welcome to Robin's house. Today we're working on one of the Let's Party cards and this one involves tearing. So I wanted to give you some quick tips about tearing. Number one is you always hold it with, well, I always hold it with my left hand and when I tear, I want to tear up. So my right hand tears up and what doing that does is it ensures that that beautiful white core is going to be facing up. So when I put it down on my project, you'll see that white core there. And additionally, it's helpful to give yourself, you see that I gave myself about a half an inch tear off. When you give yourself less, it's really hard to tear nicely because it just, well, it's taking more. But when you give yourself less, it just ends up quite choppy. And now if it's the, if that's a look you're looking for, I just, I find it hard if I don't like how I tore, for example, trying to re-tear it from a new spot creates some more jagged than I would wish for. So there's those tips. And then the main reason why I wanted to say that is because when you're tearing your patterned paper, um, you want to tear up especially because the other side is going to be a different pattern. And so you don't want to, well, you know, this does have its own good look. You don't get any of that white core, but you get do get some of the tear look. So it could depend on how you want to, how you want your, your tear to look, but it's nice to have that beveled plane where you have the pattern and then the torn bit that's kind of halfway between the size of this card and the size of this paper. So anyway, so that's tearing. Um, I love tearing. Tearing is great on especially boy cards because it just gives that element of roughness. Uh, but the main thing to remember is when you're tearing, tear up with your right hand and then you'll always have a nice, a nice edge um, to put it down on. So thank you so much for watching. Happy crafting.